Hello and welcome back to the channel. Inside Bar Trading Strategy Candlestick Psychology Part 3. In this video, first I'm going to talk about price action psychology and then followed by inside bar formation. Price action is a methodology that allows traders to look at historical price movement of an asset to make a better decision without having indicators since all these indicators are derived from price action. So the knowledge of price action is very important for traders. Price action psychology helps you understand the behavior of the trend going upward, downward, or consolidating through candlestick shape, sizes, body, color, wigs, and formations. What it means that when you look at each candlestick, you immediately know the behavior of the market for the next moment. One of those formations is called inside bar formation. In this video, I am going to talk about the characteristics and behavior of different types of inside bar pattern and formations when it's seen in an uptrend, downtrend, or consolidating market. I'm also going to show you how you trade with inside bar and where you put your stop loss that you don't lose money. I'm also going to show you how you trade with this inside bar using simple moving average 10 with the 10 days period. SMA 10. Finally, I'm going to show you a fake inside bar pattern since some traders may lose lots of money if they're not familiar with this pattern, along with lots of practical examples to clarify all my points in this video. This is Yahoo Finance GOOG stock and D1 time frame. In this, uh, in this uh, graph, I'm going to show you what is exactly a strong uptrend mean or a strong downtrend mean. A strong uptrend all the time making higher high, higher low, higher high, higher low, higher high, higher low, and so on. And each consecutive higher high is higher than the previous one. For example, this one is higher than the previous one. This one is higher than the previous one. This one is higher than the previous one. And the same thing as here, higher low. Each higher low is higher than previous one. Now, the length of the length of this higher high or swing high is all the time bigger than the length of swing low. So this is bigger than this. This length is bigger than this. And this length is bigger than this, and so on. You see that. So that is the characteristics of a strong uptrend. And this is a trendy market. Now, so this is the characteristics of an uptrend. Now look at the characteristics of a downtrend. The same thing, but the length of the length of swing low is bigger than the length of swing high. This is bigger than this. Again, this is bigger than the other one. So, and also the lower high, this lower high is lower than the previous one. This is lower than previous one. This is lower than previous one. This is lower than the previous one. So that is the characteristics of of a strong downtrend. Now, this is a very important point that I want to mention in this price action. Now, any time in a strong uptrend, the trend become fatigue and tired, you see that this pattern that is higher, high, higher, low, higher, high, higher, low, it breaks at the at the top. Here we have higher high, 
and we have higher higher low here, but we don't have higher high again. So it means the pattern breaks in this rectangular. That what it means that as soon as you see this, you know that the trend is going to go downward, is going to go reverse. So that is the reversal, trend reversal, as you see at this point, and this is the sign. So remember, this is a very, very important point that I mentioned. So anytime the pattern of higher high, higher low, or higher lower low, lower high breaks, there is a reversal is about to form, and this is the psychology of price action. This is again Yahoo Finance and NB stock D1 time frame. Each candle represents one day of trading. Again, this is a strong uptrend, and we want to exactly know what is a strong uptrend that the characteristics of a uh, up, uh, strong uptrend. And in a strong uptrend, you see the trend making higher high, higher low, higher high, higher low, higher high, higher low, and so on. And the length of swing high is bigger than the length of swing low. This is bigger than this. This is bigger than this. This is bigger than this, and so on. And also, the higher high consecutive, the higher high all the time is higher than previous one. This is higher than previous one. This is higher than previous one. This is higher than previous one. And the same thing is higher low. This is higher than previous one. This is higher than previous one, and so on. So that is the characteristics of an uptrend, and this is the behavior of candlestick psychology for a strong uptrend. This is Yahoo Finance gold stock D1 time frame, and this is again I'm going to show you the characteristics of a strong downtrend. And in a strong downtrend, we have lower high, lower low, lower high, lower low, lower high, and lower low. And the swing high, the swing high is, is smaller than swing low. So this swing low is bigger than swing high. This swing low is bigger than swing high, and so on. And each, at each lower high, is lower than the previous one. For example, this is lower than previous one. 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 So that is the characteristics of a strong downtrend. This is your finance Air Canada stock and D1 time frame. Each candle represents one day of trading. You see in this graph. You see the price is coming uh, from here and going downward and finally enter a, a, a range bond. Uh, so the, the, the price basically fluctuate uh, between two narrow band, which is uh, here uh, support and resistance. And it doesn't have a very clear pattern that how it's going to zigzag. So this is the time that you see indecision. The price doesn't uh, going up or down drastically that you'll be able to enter the market. So the best, uh, the best uh, uh, is for the traders to stay out and they do not trade in this range bond. Uh, the range bond is the characteristics of a range bond is it means indecision. Uh, quiet, uh, low volatility, and uh, the price going in, in one direction, uh, sideways, going in sideways. Uh, so between buyers and sellers, there are not that much action going on. But what happened is when the price going in range bond for a, for a long period, 
eventually it's going to go up break the resistance or down break the support it's exactly like a spring that you contract it and as soon as you release it it's going to go in one direction now but i have uh, three four videos on candlestick mat blending now if you look at those videos you see that between candle one and candle two if you blend these 16 17 candles you see you are going to see amazing outcome let's say if you blend this you take the open of this you take the close of this and the portion between open and close is nothing but a small green candle and then you take the high and a low of the pattern so you see a hammer a bullish hammer with a long lower shadow that is the outcome of these 17 candles it means there is a huge power of bullish power here and this bullish power it makes the trend break the resistance and going upward so if you if you be familiar with this then you can enter the market let's say here and you make lots of money because this this trend doesn't show here but it goes for a long period it goes upward and you make so much money this is the candlestick psychology that you should be aware of inside bar pattern inside bar is one of the most favorite formations to trade especially on a daily time frame the reason behind this is the inside bar psychology that show us the volatility has dropped and the market is taking a pause or indecision and this provides us a valuable clue about what the market is going to do next this is why the pattern is often considered as a continuation pattern inside bar consists of two candles the first one is called mother bar and the second candle is called inside bar the shadow and the body of inside bar must contain within the high and the low of the mother bar you can also have two three or multiple inside bar together with the same mother bar as the number of inside bar increases the expectation for a strong breakout because of the variation of the volatility is increased since the volatility of the market is always changing from the period of low volatility to period of high volatility back and forth then multiple inside bar signals the market is about to make a big move soon let's have some examples now in this slide i'm going to show you inside bar patterns now this is two candles the first one is bearish long bearish with upper and lower shadow and the second one is slightly smaller a body bullish with upper and lower shadow and you see the uh, the bullish candle including the upper and lower shadow they are within the body and the shadow of the mother bar so that is they call that inside bar look at this one this you see the mother bar has a small body long lower shadow and a smaller upper shadow and the inside bar is a long body uh, bearish with upper and lower shadow but the this candle is within the body and the shadow of the mother bar so that is again considered as inside bar this is again a long bullish candle with upper and lower shadow and here the inside bar is is nothing but the pin bar now this pin bar is contained within 
the upper and lower shadow of the mother bar. So it's considered as inside bar. Look at this one. That is a pin bar with long upper and lower shadow. And this is inside bar, which is within the upper and lower shadow of the mother bar. So it's considered as inside bar. Now here we have another case but we have two candles as inside bar and both of them they are within the upper and lower shadow on the body of the mother bar so it's considered as inside bar as considered as inside bar with two two inside bar and one mother bar this is again we have three candles that these three candles within the body of the mother bar, one mother bar, that is again considered as inside bar. So we have even uh, cases that the inside bar are much more than this, which is contained within the upper and lower shadow of the mother bar. So it's considered as inside bar also. Now in the next slide, we are going to show you how you see these one in the real price trend. And we be familiar with those one. This is Yo Finance K stock D1 time frame. Each candle represents one day of trading. So in this graph, I install two levels of support. Each this one has two touches. Of course, it has lots of more touches, but since the graph, uh, we enlarge the graph, so only you see the, these two touches. And this one has almost uh, two or three touches. Now, the, the, the price, this here is the price is on the top of the upper trend. And you see here one inside bar, the, the red one is within the body and shadow of the green one. So this is, uh, the sign of reversal, so it reverses the direction. And here you see another inside bar. The, the, the green candle is within the body and shadow of this big red candle. So that is the sign of continuation. Here there is a price rejection at the support and the price rejected and even all the way up here, you see another another uh, inside bar the red candle is within the body and shadow of this long green candle that is a sign of continuation the price here has lots of momentum it goes up and again you see at the top of this our trend you see uh, again inside bar the green candle is within the body and shadow of this pin bar now as soon as you see the inside bar that means the sign of quietness indecision and low volatility so that is the reason the market from here that it goes upward as soon as you you see this kind of pattern that is the sign of reversal so the sign the, the, it reverses here and again the price rejected by the support and it went up all the way and you see another another inside bar here the green candle is within the body and shadow of this long red candle and it's also it rejected by this is a price rejection here and also it reverses the price because of this inside bar you see another inside bar here that is the green candle which is within the body and shadow of this red candle that's a sign of continuation you see another another inside bar here at the support level. Now that is again a price rejection and price reversal. You see another inside bar here. So basically, uh, we are now familiar with inside bar on the price trend, how uh, it reacts to the support and resistant level. Now, how you enter the market when you are dealing with inside bar? To enter the market going long, I place my order above the high of the mother, mother candle and put my stop loss below the low of the inside bar. 
It's so simple. To exit the market going short, I place my order below the low of the mother candle and my stop loss above the high of the inside bar. I'm going to show you in a minute on the price trend. Now, this is your finance K stock D1 time frame. Each candle represents one day of trading. First of all, we identify where is inside bar. There is one here, inside bar, and there's another one here, inside bar, and there's one right at the support level. This is a mother bar, mother bar and this is an inside bar. Now, I'm going to show you how you enter the market and you put your stop loss. So this is a very strong downtrend, big momentum, that as soon as it comes to the support, with the formation of this inside bar, the momentum almost becomes zero. Uh, the speed becomes zero of the downward trend. So this makes this downtrend reverses to go upward. Now, when you enter the market, you have to enter the market at above the high of the mother bar. So this is the above the high of the mother bar. And you put your stop loss below the low of the inside bar. So right here. So you can you can enter the market open long when price break the high of the mother bar. Look at this. This is the high of the mother bar and this is the price. It break that high, so it closes right here. So that means as soon as it goes past this area, you enter the market. So you enter the market and look at that. You gain so much money by this trend going upward. So this is how you enter the market and you put your stop loss. This is your channel and I am trying my best to improve the quality of trading topics. So in order that you receive the trading information on time, please subscribe and support this channel. And thank you in advance. In this graph, we see three location that we have inside bar, that's one location, that we have a mother bar with nine candles inside bar. In this location, we have a mother bar with two candle inside bar. And here we have a mother bar with two inside bar. Now we wanna know how to enter or exit the market. Here we have to exit the market because the price after this long, quiet days, the trend is going to go downward sharply. Now you put your exit at the low of the mother bar. That's the low of the mother bar. You put your exit here. That's exit of the market. And you put your stop loss at the high of the inside bar. So this is the high of the inside bar. In this situation, the trend is going to go upward. So you enter the market at the high of the mother bar and you put the stop loss at the low of the inside bar. So this is the low of inside bar. Now, how we enter the market as soon as you see the price break the high of the mother bar so you see that the the the, the price break broke already so you enter the market here and you put your stop loss here now in this situation the trend is going to go upward so you enter the market at the high of the mother bar 
and you put it as your stop loss at the low of inside bar. So this is the low of inside bar, and that is your stop loss. So this is how you enter or exit the market and you put your stop loss. So that's another example of Yo Finance I N O stock D1 time frame. Now you see this is an inside bar. This is another inside bar. And also this is one inside bar with two candles. This is another inside bar with uh, altogether four candles. Now in this situation, the mother bar is a bullish pin bar with three inside bar. So basically when the the price broke the low of the mother bar then you exit the market so you exit the market at the low of the mother bar and you put your stop loss at the high of inside bar and this situation that the trend is going upward as soon as the price this price break the high of the mother bar you enter the market so you see that it it broke the high and it closes right here so you enter the market here at the highest of the mother bar and you put your stop loss at the low of the inside bar that is the low of the inside bar so you put your stop loss here and in this situation the trend is going to go downward so as soon as the 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 the, the price break the low of the mother bar you see here it broke the low it comes it comes lower so you exit the market here and you put the you put your stop loss at the high of the mother bar that is the high of the mother bar so you put your stop loss here so this is how basically you enter and exit the market which is so important for traders in this graph that is your finance air canada stock d1 time frame in this graph i want to show you clearly what is the psychology behind inside bar at the top of an upward trend look at the inside bar what is the characteristics of inside bar inside bar candles shows the market has contracted resulted the trend reversal so what it what it means it means that inside bar when you see an inside bar that means indecision low volatility quiet market look at this one here you have a very strong uptrend why because each candle makes higher high than the previous day this is it close this candle it close here the next one it closes way up the next one it closes way up and way up and close way up and close way up so that means that is a very strong uptrend but as soon as the formation of inside bar happen at the top of an upward trend suddenly everything become very quiet the power of this upward trend become almost a stall become zero the momentum it's almost zero the speed is zero so what is left it's reversal so the trend reverses instead of making higher high now making lower low all the way so this is a psychology of inside bar so whenever you see an inside bar at the top of an upward trend you should be ready for a reversal so it is very important to know when you enter the market and when you don't enter the market 
if the price is in range bond or consolidation, it means the market is quiet and the volatility is low and the price is not trending and you should not enter the market. Wait for the breakout and then enter the market. Inside bar formation occurs when there is low volatility and indecision in the market. Therefore, very important to, to memorize it. When with occurrence of inside bar in consolidation situation, it doesn't make sense to enter the market. So it means that if the, the market is in consolidation and you see a you see, let's say, a, an inside bar, you should not do anything because consolidation means don't enter the market. And inside bar, inside the consolidation, it doesn't make sense that you enter the market. So you stay outside, wait for breakout. This is your finance WCP stock D1 time frame. We trade the inside bar when the market break or come out of the consolidation. So if it is in consolidation, the inside bar, we don't do anything about it. But when, when the price come out of the consolidation, then we trade the inside bar. Then you can enter the market when you see an inside bar. If the market is strongly trending upward, it means making higher high, higher low, higher high, high low, or strongly downward, making lower low, lower high, lower low, lower high, and you see an inside bar formation, then it's time to go long or to go short. We can also use SMA 10, which is this one, to check if you have a strong trend and the trend respecting moving average. You see, when you put the moving average and you have a strong trend, and this trend respecting the moving average, it means that the trend, the price trend, should be at the top of the moving average. That, that is the characteristics of an upward trend. So that means respecting moving average. For example, if the price trend trending strongly like this wait for inside bar formation this one and wait for the price for the price pull back toward moving average look at this this price it's pulling back toward moving average and wait for the formation of this inside bar and when the inside bar form, wait for the price to break the high of inside bar. You see, this is the high of inside bar and the price break again, bounce back. You enter the market exactly at the high of the inside bar. And you put your stop loss at the low of the mother bar. So you can enter the market like this. Repeat the same process for exiting the market. Let's say the price should respect moving average when it goes strongly downward. So the price must be below the moving average and so on. And wait for the formation of uh, inside bar. And the same technique you can enter the market and you put your stop loss. So this is how you use moving average in order to enter the market with the formation of the inside bar. Now, what is a fakey inside bar pattern? A fakey inside bar pattern is a false breakout pattern when the price initially breaks one way but then snap back the other direction and creating lots of losing money problem to new traders. 
Fakie patterns are seen in different formation and patterns, and some of the most popular ones are as follow. Now, fakie patterns are so many, so many fakie patterns that exist in the market, but I'm just going to show you two of them just to be familiar with the fakie, fakie pattern. This is fakie bullish pattern. Now, this is the mother bar that you see here, and that is the inside bar. Now, as soon as you see this, that means that the trend is going to go downward. So you go, you exit the market because it's going to go downward. And suddenly after this, suddenly the price going way up. And those traders that they exit the market, are they, they lose lots of money and the price going way up after that. Now this is another pattern. You see that's the mother bar and that's the inside bar. And in the next candle, you see that the price is going up. So you enter the market. You enter the market. And as soon as you enter the market, after a while, you see the price going way down. So you lose so much money. So it is very good for traders to, to be familiar with these fakie patterns so that they do not lose money. My question to you is, how do you trade in sidebar and where you put your stop loss? Please leave your comments and let me know your thoughts. That's all, folks. If you like this video, thumbs up. Subscribe to my channel. Leave your comment. Thanks for watching. Take care and see you next time.